But the animal kingdom also has its fair share of show-offs, like Norman the dog. Good boy, Norman. Good boy. Good it's like there is a little person inside a little dog outfit pedaling on this bike. I find it a bit weird. The dog is on a bike. What's not to like about that? Norman, bike. Up, up. Good. We asked Norman, who's a French sheepdog, how he did it. But he's a dog, and even our experts don't understand him, so we asked his human instead. Good boy. It took about three years for him to learn to ride the bike from start to finish. But mostly, it was because we didn't have a bicycle that fit him. As he was growing, we had to keep changing bicycles and modifying things. Good boy, stay. Once he was full size, we worked on it about a year before he was really pedaling on his own. Good job. Very good. Training some dogs to fetch a ball is hard work, but riding a bike? How's that done? The dog has learned how to do this step by step. And what happens is the dog will have been taught to do the first thing, maybe just hop on that bike. And we'll get a positive reinforcement, some food treats or some love. And this is how dogs are trained. This is how they learn to do tricks. So the moment he does what I like, I'll click a dog clicker and give him a treat after. That way he knows that's the exact behavior I wanted and the treat's coming. Good boy. And that's what scientists call operant conditioning. And Norman clearly has the ability to learn and execute a complex series of instructions over time. Good boy, you got it. But that's not the only thing he can do. Using the same training techniques, he's able to ride a scooter. Good job. There you go. Good. And play the piano. Well, sort of. <laughs>